So my friend requested that I make a video about why Choctopus should play Earthbound. I'm not going to go into details, but the UR Smash Bros server roster has been put into action. So I am going to be catching up on some YouTuber played game videos as it has been a while since I have done one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. I almost said enjoy. I don't know why I said that. Uh, <laughs> As always, guys, I have three reasons as to why Choctopus should play Earthbound. The first reason is he made a video, and I believe this was after the Super Mario RPG remake came out. He made a video titled, How Nintendo Changed My Life. And it was... I remember it had Super Mario RPG-styled Mario in the thumbnail... Um, and what he was talking about in this video was he was basically saying, um, you know, it, it was basically saying that growing up as a Nintendo kid, um, it, it sticks with you. It's not something that just goes away, right? Like you grow up with Nintendo, it's like a part of you. And, and you know what? I think that's a fair play. Um, but the thing that caught my attention was Super Mario RPG styled Mario, in the thumbnail because you have to remember super mario rpg and earthbound are what i feel to be the two staple role-playing games on the super nintendo um choctopus was a snes kid growing up um but for some reason he hasn't played earthbound on his channel he played the ever loving stuffing out of super mario rpg because that's like his favorite game of all time but he mentioned in some of his Super Mario RPG videos that he never played Earthbound. Um, and that he would not be against playing it. Which, you know what? I think you should. Because Earthbound... Um, it's Earthbound is, is a seesaw when it comes to comparing it to Super Mario RPG. You know, I would say Super Mario RPG, the gameplay is better and more intuitive than earthbound but where earthbound shines is the story because the story it takes place in a more realistic world and it's a lot of a lot of the elements in it this is why i, I wish that you know more of the earthbound stuff came to america because it has like a very um suburban america feel that you would see in like the 90s and the early 2000s that really captured the hearts of people back then and that's one of the reasons that earthbound is a big deal in the west even though it didn't really sell well is because of the aesthetic it was like this was a game that if you were an american kid at the time you were gonna look at it and be like i remember this i remember that and then when you grow up you're gonna be surprised when you find out it was made by a japanese man that being shigesato itoi and satoru iwata who rest in peace obviously um but that's the thing like it's the thing that a lot of americans you know growing up they can kind of relate to a lot of the elements um I was born in the year 2001, and I was, like, really young when, like, that kind of stuff was just ending. Like, I was I was really young when, like, Disney Channel was on its last legs. Like, I was bare... I barely remember, like, the Lizzie McGuire show and, like, even... Was it called Even Stevens or something like that? Um, I feel like a lot of... of um, of Earthbound's aesthetic, you can kind of see in like stuff like Disney Channel shows and like Disney Channel movies. I remember more so stuff along the lines of, you know, like I remember watching Lemonade Mouth when I was a kid and I thought it was the coolest thing known to mankind back then. Um, that was before Xenoblade 2 came out. Uh, but <laughs> either way, um, either way, the, the point I'm trying to make is that was that was kind of like near the tail end 
of Disney Channel being good and now Disney Plus, which is like their streaming service, has all kinds of garbage on it. But the thing is back then, you would kind of get a feel for the time period. Like if you buy like DVDs or find footage of the old shows on YouTube, you can kind of get a good idea of the, the time period that those shows took place. And you don't really get a, when you, when you get a feel for the said time period, you don't really like, it's like you get a t taste of the time period, but you kind of experience it as if it is trendy now. Which is kind of like an, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's a very interesting feeling. And this relates to Earthbound because Earthbound does the exact same thing. Um, Earthbound, outside of Ness being able to fight Sora and Smash Ultimate, is in no way related to Disney. But what is related is the way it makes you feel nowadays going back to it and looking at this was what American life was like back then. This is how American kids lived. This is how American kids, you know, what they did after school, what they did during school. There's not really much school segments in in Earthbound. It's not like Pokemon, Scarlet, and Violet where, oh, let's throw a five-hour school segment in there. Nobody's going to care about that. And then speedrunners are just getting pissy about it. Uh, no, it's not like that. It's like you get to experience what American kids dreamed of that day, of those days which was like this freedom. And they did have more freedoms than kids nowadays, because nowadays there's like bomb threats at schools and like other crazy stuff. Um, but back then it was relatively peaceful. And I think that's a really nice thing to kind of go back and like experience. Um, and that kind of goes into um, the, the third reason, which we'll get into that in a bit. But for right now, I want to talk about the second reason, which is the environment that uh, Choctopus grew up in. I believe Choctopus is, like, at least 10 years older than me. So, when I was in high school, um, the, like, the whole thing with, like, high school getting crazy in America and, like, daily bomb threats and, like, anthrax in the parking lot, that happened at, like, Memorial High School in Madison, like, just a couple years ago. I remember one of my coworkers at Best Buy talking about it. Um... Outside of stuff like that, like that, I was in high school just as that stuff was starting. So, what what this all goes into is that Choctopus, when he was a American high school student, he did not go to school with daily bomb threats. He did not go to school where some nut job was bringing anthrax to the parking lot. No, when he was in high school. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's like I, I was I was like doom scrolling on Instagram one time after after like I woke up or something and I saw like a reel where someone was like, oh, this is how teenagers lived in the mid 2000s. And then I, I was looking at it and it was like, oh, that that seems really interesting. Like a lot of stuff that I remember seeing of when I was like a really little kid, but not when I was a teenager. But back then, Choctopus was a teenager. And what he did is he was very, very in into this whole realm. It almost feels like, looking back at what teenagers were like in the mid-2000s, it almost feels like the way it is now is like a completely different planet. It's crazy. Um, but like, yeah, that that's the environment he grew up in, which, which is why I believe Earthbound would be beneficial to him to play in like a video because he could get a real kick out of it. I think that would be really, really cool. And the number three reason, his fans deserve a dose of nostalgia. Everyone's nostalgia matters, guys. That is what I have been saying from the very beginning. You know, some people do not agree with it. Some people are like, oh, nostalgia. I want to see freaking... Well, I'm not going to go into that topic. I'm not I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Y'all don't want to hear it. Uh, but no, uh, no, everyone's nostalgia matters, guys. Whether it's the Nintendo Entertainment System, whether it's Super Nintendo, N64, the Wii, the PS2, the freaking Dreamcast, which I have on the desk over here. I just got this like two months ago. Uh, everyone's nostalgia matters, guys. And even like non-gaming nostalgia. This is why I was talking about Disney Channel like a couple minutes ago. Like, 
everyone's nostalgia matters. And I feel like when Choctopus plays this game, right? Like, this is what interests me about the Mother series, right? He's not just going to be experiencing video game nostalgia. He's going to be experiencing what was a caricature of what American life was like for kids back then. And a lot of Choctopus's audience is like people around his age group. Uh, there's a lot of young kids who watch him too, which fair play. But a lot of them are like around his age group and might look at this and remember like oh yeah i remember when i was i was you know 12 years old i i right after i left school i went to the woods with like this girl i was like a science lab partner with and then on a disposable camera we took a picture of us having like our first kiss or something like that that's like the most mid 2000s scenario ever that i just made up on the spot it might not be that exact thing for some people but it might it might be something else something similar but uh you know i think that what we would be experiencing with a choctopus earthbound playthrough is we will be getting a lot of people remembering like okay when i was a kid and you know it was around that time period i remember doing this i remember doing that you know just as an example for me i remember when i was like 15 me and my friend my friends mark and hunter we were like we were you know shipping this couple to high heaven it was like a couple that I think one of them ended... I think the guy in the couple ended up being prom prince. I don't know what happened with the girl. Because um, I graduated early. Uh, but the but the couple, we were shipping to high heaven. And the girl was like... She was... Uh, we were talking about how they were going to get married in like a European castle. And that the wedding was going to be like a multi-day wedding. And it's like these kind of memories are kind of what you know bring back stuff for you i was even going on and on about like how <laughs> how like the um the parents of the two in the relationship were gonna like hook everyone up in the school with like a european date or something like that that would have been nuts if you if, if you guys saw my school y'all know that wouldn't have gone over well it was just it was it was just back when i was 15 i was like I was just in my own head and my own head was in the in the clouds and the clouds were in what most people would consider to be you know complete pneumonia not pneumonia what am I talking about <laughs> my, my head was not in the right headspace at that time but hey that's one of the parts of you know good memories is you remember a lot of interesting stuff and I think that Choctopus playing Earthbound would be hype for these three reasons let me know in the comments if you have any other requests for YouTuber Play Game videos. Is I'm going to most likely, I'm not going to make any promises because I'm bad at keeping them, but I will most likely be making more YouTuber Play Game videos, guys. I have a system. There's a document on my phone. Um, I'm keeping track, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you all what it's about just yet. You'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm sure it's going to be all over, but you'll have to see when it comes. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and as always, stay chill everyone.